Hey guitar champion, what's going on? Justin Hombach here back from my practice cave and welcome to this lesson on the pentatonic lick which is inspired by Glenn Drover. Glenn Drover was one of the many guitar players for the Thrash Metal Kings Megadus. He only played on one record, United Abominations, but what he was playing there was really interesting stuff. And here I have a pentatonic lick for you, which is really interesting when it comes to the rhythmical approach and to the fingerings and adding some really cool spicy note, the blue note, the second note and so on. So a really interesting pentatonic lick you can use for your own playing and for your own style. So I hope you will like this little lesson. If you like the lesson, then feel free to download the tabs, the free tabs of this link. I provide for you a download link in the description box where you can download them. And without further ado, I will start with the slow version of this link and then I'm going to dive right into the lesson. So have fun with this lesson. See you in the next video. Cheers. The lick is divided into three different bars and the first bar goes like this. We are in the F sharp minor pentatonic scale and we're starting on the F sharp on the 14th fret on the E string, going to the 17th fret on the B string, back again to the 14th fret on the E string. This is our first, first quarter note, the first three triplets of this lick. And as I've set the time feeling here are triplets. So we have one, two, three. So the second power of triplets goes like this. 17, 14, 17 on the B string. Then we have to uh, jump from the 17th fret on the B string to the 17th fret on the E string and we're doing it with our roll technique. So we have roll technique, rolling back, going to the 14th fret on the E string. And the last part goes like this, 17, 14, 17 on the G string. Okay, now the 17th fret on the G string, the C is not particular on our F sharp minor pentatonic scale. We're adding the C to get the so-called blue note, the diminished fifth. By adding this note, we are getting a bit more of a bluesy sound, a bit more of this kind of jazzy bluesy sound. So you see a lot of this kind of bluesy sounding stuff comes from adding the C, in this case the 17th fret on the G string. So the first bar again goes like this. So the first bar goes like this. Now we are coming to the second bar. The second bar slow goes like this. Okay, the second bar goes like this. Um, here we are adding... We are starting on the 14th fret of the B string, going to the 17th fret on the G string, switching around those two strings. Then we are playing the eight, uh, sorry, the nineteenth fret on the G. Uh, sorry, the eighteenth fret on the G string um, with our pinky. This is the reason why I played the scale so far with our index and with my ring finger, um, because they have the ability to play it with my pinky finger to create this this kind of effect. They are both the same notes. We have on the 14th uh, on the 14th fret of the B string, we have the C sharp, and on the 18th fret on the G string as well. Um, but Glenn is doing this kind of technique to use a pull-off technique afterwards, so um, he has a bit more rhythmical, interesting idea, a bit of repetitive idea. So this sounds really cool in context. 
because after that we have played the 18th fret with our pinky on the G string, we are pulling down 18, 17, 14 with our pinky, ring finger and index. And then we're going to the 16th fret on the D string with our middle finger this time because it's we have this kind of stretchy position. We are not in the closed four finger fret position, we are in the stretchy position here. And our middle finger is a bit more easier to reach on the 16th fret on the D string. And going back to the 14th fret on the G string ending the second bar. Okay, the second bar slow goes like this. And here we have some, some tricky passages with our fingerings in this kind of kind of uh, pentatonic scale. Uh, we're starting again on the 14th fret of the G string, uh, sorry, of the B string, playing 14, switching to the 17th fret on the G string and going back to the 14th fret on the B string. Then we are playing with our pinky the 18th fret on the, on the G string. Now the 18th fret on the G string is the same note like the 14th fret on the B string. The C sharp. So why aren't we playing this one twice on the B string, but instead going with our pinky to the G string? Well, this is because this has some nice, interesting sounding rhythmical effect. We can play that hammer on and that pull off line afterwards. And another reason is that we avoid inside picking. When we are playing it twice, we have to make inside picking between the B string and the G string, which can be a bit tricky when we are not used to it. So it's especially when it comes to um, speeding this lick up, a little bit easier for the efficiency and stuff like this. So as I've said, there comes a pull-off section afterwards. We are starting on the 18th fret on the G string with our pinky and pulling um, 17 with the ring finger and 15, 14 sorry, with the index finger. Then we are playing the 16th fret on the D string with our middle finger. And it's a bit more easy to play it with the middle finger because here we have this stretchy position. And to change from the stretchy position to the fourth finger position can be a bit tricky in the tempo. So we're staying in the uh, stretchy position and playing the 16th fret on the D string with our middle finger. So after this we are playing the 16th fret on the G string and we're doing it with our roll technique we um, know from the bar before. Playing it again with the middle finger. Going back to the 16th fret on the D string and playing the 14th fret on the G string. Then we're going back to the 14th fret on the G string and playing the 18th fret on the D string. So this is another note which is not in the F sharp minor pentatonic scale because this is the ninth, the second degree of this kind of scale of the F sharp natural minor scale. And we don't have this note in the pentatonic scale, so it's another option note, another color note where we can spice up this lick a little bit. Now the third bar is just kind of half a bar. There are not so many notes in there. It's not the full bar, all those full 12 notes in there. The third bar goes only like this. And here we are starting with the 14th fret on the G string, playing the scale down to the fifths of F sharp, the C sharp. And here we are adding again the diminished fifths, going to the fourth and resolving into the root. Here again we have that blue note to create this kind of bluesy sound. Okay, the complete lick slow goes again like this, the first bar. Second bar. And third bar. And again. And the original tempo. 